My name is Jeff Ricketts, and I'm here at Cliffhanger to help my friends explain the game concepts behind Shadowrun Online. Today, I'll talk about the contextual gameplay, that is, how different characters see the world differently. Depending on the skills, talents, or equipment of your character, you'll see different things and get different information about enemies or your environment. For example, a street samurai equipped with a smart link and combat software will get a wealth of information on enemies to help you make tactical decisions. You see an enemy's exact wound status, where and how much he may be protected by armor, exact chances to hit, and what cover an object may provide to you. If you play a hacker, you will see data connections in your augmented reality view. You'll see the device level and ability of security systems and perceive the defense ratings of nodes and their status. You might also be able to notice well-hidden drones that may not be seen by others. This will allow a player to interact with these devices to spoof, access, hack and shut them down or extract data from them. Of course, a hacker will also see ice coming his way so he can enter into matrix combat. Finally, some chromed up enemies may be susceptible to influencing their cyberware. If you play a mage, you can see the magical forces that permeate the sixth world. The astral view uncovers magical qualities in objects and people, but it also shows the dead zones of integrated cyberware in the aura of each living being. Of course, it allows a clearer view of astral or magical creatures and their power level. Finally, as the astral plane isn't as limited by physical objects, you can actually perceive a small area around you seeing or sensing through walls and other obstacles. By using different ways of perception, you will be able to make interesting tactical choices, interact with the world in different ways, and of course, communicate with your teammates about what you see. The layered world is one of the coolest features of Shadowrun Online, and Cliffhanger is really excited that this is part of the work. Remember, you can make it possible by backing Shadowrun Online on Kickstarter. That's it for today, so stay tuned for our next update.